First question is from Connie Chiwa. Is it true that shorter walks of 30 minutes or less will primarily burn sugar and carbs, while longer walks will primarily burn fat? Okay, yes, that's true, but no, it's not what you think it is. Okay, so here's what's true, right? Uh, when you're doing cardiovascular activity or any activity, you are burning energy, and the first type of energy that your body will burn is in the form of stored carbohydrates. Once that starts to get burned up and used, uh, and believe it or not, you have a, a, a small supply of that in your body in comparison to the supply of fat that you have that you could burn for energy. Once that is burned up, then your body starts to burn fat for energy. Now, here's why it's not what you think. It's not what you think because just because your body's burning fat for energy doesn't mean you're going to get leaner later if you're still in a calorie surplus. If you're in a calorie surplus, it just replaces it. It doesn't make any difference. I mean, keto, for example, ketogenic diet. You have no carbohydrate in your diet. You're running off of ketones, which is fat. Theoretically, you're burning fat all the time. Can, that's a, and that's how they love to market it to you. Right. Can yeah. you get? Can you gain body fat on keto, or can you not lose weight on keto, or lose body fat on keto? Absolutely. Sure. So calorie deficit is necessary for fat loss, regardless of this. You know how much cardio you do, and what you're, whether you're burning sugar, carbs, or, and, or fats. and the real benefit of comparison here is that you, a longer walk is going to burn more calories. Yes. You know. Yeah. So if I had to compare a 30 minute walk versus somebody who walked for 90 minutes, well, the person who walked 90 minutes is going to burn more fat. I mean, That's right. Because they walked longer. You know. So that, and they burn more calories, which will then in, help them it be in a more of a calorie deficit than the other person. Yeah. There's you, the, you cannot get around the simple. This is a, a rule. This is a law. Okay. You can't get around. The, it's a law of thermodynamics and physics where you, you must take in less calories than you burn in order for your body to search for fuel from itself to burn. If you're eating more calories than you're burning or the same amount of calories you're burning, your body's not going to... First off, if it, let's say you're eating more calories than you're burning and your body burned calories from its stored fat. Well, where do those extra calories go? Right, those, They have to go somewhere. In other words... Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It gets transferred. It turns mm -hmm. into other things. And uh, so you can't get around that. So you have to be in a deficit to burn body fat. And you can do all the, you know, the mixing things around, the magic you right. want, and supplements and all this stuff. But if that's not happening, you're not going to lose body fat. Yeah, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I mean, people will deplete themselves of glycogen and then do these like crazy intensive workouts and everything just to get, you know, quote unquote burning through all the, the sugar and everything else to then, you know, the rest of the day try to burn fat. But if, if the calories, if you're still in a surplus, like it's all wash. Well, and yeah, somebody who for average people, this is the type of content I can't stand that gets, that gets spread in our space. It's like for the average person, this is so splitting hair difference type of conversation. It's like focus on, build, you know, you know, it'll what, you know help better than all this. Build five pounds of muscle. That's it. Yeah. You want to you want to trump walking for thirty minutes or an hour. Or, you know, short walks versus long walks. Like Here's go your build fat burning materials. That's right. Go build five pounds of muscle on your body. Okay. Which by the way, five pounds of muscle distributed amongst your entire body looks like nothing. It won't look like you're a just, big difference. You're just tighter. Yes. And you your body will naturally on its own you know burn more calories, burn more body fat than any of those walks will.